everybody I hope you've had a wonderful week now today we're going to do a little bit more work about the stave the lines and the spaces and also about our musical alphabet because our musical alphabet is very similar to our normal alphabet but it's just a lot shorter it only has seven letters so it's very very easy so we'll start off singing that and I'm just going to move back so that you can see the letters on the board now don't forget the letters are always written as capital letters because it is the name of the note so it's an A or it's a B or it's a C so it will be like if your name was Alice, A for Alice, if your name was Bertie, B for Bertie, and if your name was Catherine, C for Catherine. So it's just the letter name, and so therefore it must be a capital letter because it's the name of the note. All right, so I'm just going to move back and we're going to have a look at the board. <clears throat> now, I've put dot, dot, dot here, and I've put dot, dot, dot here, and that means it just continues. So let's start. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 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 A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, isn't that lucky that the musical alphabet song is exactly the same tune as our normal alphabet song? But we've only got seven letters. So there we are. The seven letters are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. There's no H in the musical alphabet. So when we get to G, we just start again with A. So there we are. Now I'm going to leave that for a minute because we're going to have a look at the stave. Now do you remember the stave uh, is what we call the lines and the spaces. And on my board here, I've got four staves. I've got one here, one here, one here and one here but I'm just going to look at this one today because it's right in the middle and I've used the letters under that one so I don't want it all to get all messy there so I'm going to put a little number one on this line because remember that we count the lines and the spaces from the bottom of the stave we count them from here. All right. So if that's line number one, where is line number two going to be? That's right. Just here. There's line number two. And then if line number two is there, where is line number three going to be? That's right. Right in the middle. There we are. And what about line four? That's going to go here, isn't it? That's right. So let me just put that one in. And then finally, line number five. That is the top line. Here we are. Line number five. So, and remember what I said about we have five fingers on our hands and they're like lines. So I'll come to that in a moment. And then I'm just going to scoot across, scoot, 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 so I can draw in the spaces. Now, so here is the first space. So I'm going to just make a little circle and put the number in there. I hope you can see it's not too far away. I think it'll be all right when you have it on your TV or your screen of your computer at home. And then, so the second space is here. And then we've got a little number two in that space. And then the third space is going to be here. And we put a little number three in there. And then finally, our fourth space is here. And we're going to put a little number four in there. Now, 
I, we only put the numbers on the lines and the spaces like that at the moment because you're just learning them. But when we actually draw notes, we never ever write numbers on the lines and spaces. So remember, we always count them from the bottom up to the top. And in between each line, like in between this line and this line, there is a space. And in between this line and this line, there is another space. And in between this line and this line, another space. And between this line and this line, another space. So now I'm going to face you now. Come back in. There we are. And I'm going to hold up my hand because it's such a useful thing. We always have our hands with us, don't we? And maybe when you're in the car and you might want to think about something besides counting how many yellow cars you can see or playing I Spy or something like that. You could look at your hand and remember how we do the lines and the spaces in music. So your thumb is always the first line. But we've got a space here, haven't we? We've got a space between our thumb and the next finger. So that's our first space here. Then here is our second finger. This is the second line. And look, we have a space after the second line, but before the third line. So that is our second space. Then here we have our third line and we have a space after that before we get to our fourth line. So this is our third space. And then we've got our fourth line and we have another space here. And then we've got our fifth line. So this here, is our fourth space. So we've got first line, first space, second line, second space, third line, third space, fourth line, fourth space, fifth line. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave that hand up there and I'm going to use the four fingers on this hand to go through the spaces and so you can see where the four spaces are. Can you see them? Very good. So I want you to remember that because it, some people find it a little bit tricky to remember that there's lines and spaces on a stave, but there are. So I want you to remember that. And very soon we're going to learn which letters go into which lines and which spaces. Very exciting. So I will see you next time. Have a very good week and lots of love from me. Bye.